So I decided to close in my garage. This is my carport and we don't ever really park here. So I've got all this space and we decided to hire somebody to close it in and it's gonna be the new home gym and studio. So I'm gonna have weight equipment. I'm going to have photography areas where either there or right here. We'll have a door right here leading to the outside. Here's the outside of everything. Got all their materials, but they're just walling it off. Then I'll have a nice enclosed area. So here is the closet. And I'm planning to run a mini split here it goes to the outside and maybe do like a home office sort of thing. And this is just the beginning phase. They knocked all of this out today. It used to be a little lattice area with a door that led out to the yard. And so they've actually done a lot of work. They poured concrete and built up this ledge, it looks like. So that's good. They just got to reroute that exhaust hood. And so either go up through the wall and out or build the exhaust and bring it out. I'm not really sure what the full game plan is. Got the AC guy coming. He's gonna be doing some outlets. He's gonna do the electrical. He's gonna do outlets on the exterior. Hopefully a few there and there. Um, so we're gonna see what kind of outlets we can accommodate on the breaker box. when they were dropping off the supplies. Tore up my yard. Oh yeah, one thing I forgot to mention is the sauna. That's my infrared sauna that I've had in my shed for like a year, because I've got no place to put it. So the sauna will be going in the home gym. All right, so they've made a lot of progress. This is only day three, and we got the AC mini split unit in. They've drywalled everything. Um, we decided to leave this as is because I'm gonna do a uh, accent wall, I believe, right there with some sort of like wood siding. We got more sheetrock for in the utility closet, which um, I had to move the freezer, but they pulled down the ceiling and they had to run um, all the tubing and wiring that goes out to the, the unit for the mini split. So they're gonna sheetrock all of this in and I'm going to have this as like a closet storage area for hunting gear, hunting equipment, and I might even do like a small office area over there for at home work. Um, but yeah, here is the progress. All right, here is the update. We got drywall installed, the AC and all that. They've boxed in the range hood vent for the kitchen. Uh, they've got can lights installed. We got four of those. So that's providing a lot of good light. In the closet, we got sheetrock. 
ceiling installed. Those guys came in here and they knocked this whole project out in about nine days. It was just two guys and they crushed it. They did flooring, trim, drywall, AC, recess lighting, smoke detector. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine outlets plus the ones that were already here so they also added a couple new um, breakers that's for the ac heating and cooling and solid flooring basically life proof and it's going to be a great gym and studio area so i couldn't be happier with the turnout All right, this is the new addition. So, enclose the whole carport, and this is what we have here. So, I'm just gonna walk you guys through the 95% finished product. I've got pretty much everything in here that I want to put in here for now. I've got the gym set up, I've got the sauna set up. Uh, I'm gonna keep adding some different stuff throughout. Uh, I'll probably change some things around move some stuff but for now this is about what i'm going to use it for so i'm going to give you guys a quick walk through uh here is my wonderful little map that my wife got me for christmas and the goal of this is to kind of put little pins in locations where i've been hunting so you know georgia kentucky kansas colorado montana wisconsin i'm just going to put little markers on there and and come up with plans on where else I want to go solo hunting. So I do a lot of hunting. I enjoy bear hunting, deer hunting, got a little indoor target to shoot at with my bow. That's my new bow, which I've got a video on my bow build up as well. But for the room in the finished edition that's the range hood from the kitchen basically they had to reroute that up through the ceiling this is the freezer and we got a bunch of deer meat in there up above here we've got this ac unit it's a mini split and it runs around out back and it's got heating and cooling you can adjust all that with the remote got a little guitar hanger here i have not yet hung that but i've got some wall space to work with so i want to go ahead and get the guitar hung up somewhere um got a couple of deer mounts as i said i like to do a lot of bow hunting whitetail hunting um, the floor, we went with like LVP vinyl, life proof, super heavy duty durable flooring. And that runs all the way throughout. And then right here we have the gym. So in the gym, I've got power blocks, basically anywhere from like five to 90 pounds. You got 2.5 adjustable. Got little sliders, you can color code your weights. And yeah, those dumbbells have been awesome. 
got an adjustable bench, 45 pound bar, Olympic weight set with 300 pound uh, plate set here. And I added two more 45s for going heavy. Got the Bluetooth speaker, a couple of little lighter weights for you know shoulder mobility work, whatever you want to do there. Got a cable you can move around, do different exercises with, do hanging leg raises, pull-ups, whole nine yards. So it's pretty cool for flooring. I went with these heavy duty horse stall mats. So they're super heavy. They're about 50 bucks each. I got these particular ones. They're three and a half feet wide by six feet long. And so I took four of those, just went ahead and put them together, made a nice little section here to work out on. Parallette bars for doing dips. I can track the little amount of weight that I'm doing there and the gains that I'm not making. Got the bear rug up there. I'm not sure if that's permanent. This is the infrared sauna. So I sat in there this morning after my workout. Um, pretty cool. You just turn it on and highest that it goes is 140. And you can, you know, crank up the minutes, all that kind of stuff. Um, infrared, it doesn't go as hot as like a traditional sauna. Yeah, all right, this is the closet. Got a nice little keypad lock on here. I'm gonna do shelving here. Got the breaker panel. There's a lot of places to plug stuff in. Um, I wanted ample areas to just plug up all my equipment in. I got camera equipment that I might want to charge, anything like that. Um, one thing I'm thinking about doing is putting like a photography, like roll, it's like basically rolls of paper backdrop that you can kind of pull down and out and you can do, you can set it up for like product photography, stuff like that. So that's, that'd be a little backdrop photography studio and get some lighting. Um, but yeah, other than that, that is the home gym slash studio slash spa slash creativity space slash man cave slash everything I could ever want in a room. There used to be a carport, as you saw at the beginning of this video. This was just a useless area that we didn't really, I mean, I never really parked under here unless it was storming outside. So now I've got this usable space, climate controlled and a place where I can create and make more videos for you guys. So if you enjoyed this rebuild, this renovation of the carport into a man cave, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. I've got more content coming out. My channel is mainly a hunting channel. So if you enjoy any kind of like backcountry solo hunting, bear hunting, deer hunting, elk hunting, I've been trying it all. So feel free to follow along, hit subscribe, go check out some of my other videos, my hunt videos. I've got gear reviews and this is going to be the new space where I bring it all to you. So see you guys on the next video. Appreciate y'all tuning in.